Hello you two, this is Dragonheart and welcome to part 25 of the Aravaki campaign for Total War Room 2, Hannibal at the Gates. Now, we are against the Volkai here. They are our enemies and they hold Elurda. We have an army marching towards Elurda, full stack army with two Iberian ballistas. I'm hoping that they will turn and go back to Elurda. If they come to seek this, we are a little bit, well, depleted. We Our garrison's depleted. We do have an army stationed there with a small army nearby and another army reinforcing. Now I have 842 I can spend this turn I'm not sure if I'm going to spend it though. Let's just have a quick look I could recruit some cavalry which might be beneficiary to me or beneficial to me uh, Do I, don't I, do I, don't I I don't think I will. I think I can get by with the units I have. I could probably start disbanding some mercenaries though I, they are crippling my economy right now 120 upkeep for them, 288 upkeep for them, it's just not worth it, so I'm going to take uh, this one because it's the least amount of men in that unit, and there we go, 592 next turn, let's go have a quick look at any other mercenaries I may or may not have, I think I'm okay though, in most, most armies, I have an army, ooh, bit of a frame rate drop there, I do have an army down here marching towards, oh not this one, where's it gone, I've lost them already, where are you? Where are you? I say. Oh, there, there we go. Enforce march here. No mercenaries there. That's great. It's just the army up here, by the looks of things, which does have some uh, mercenaries. We did defeat this this army here. Uh, do I risk it or don't I risk it? See, I don't know if this army is quite in range. Oh, maybe they are in range. I think they are. I probably could in that case. Then we'll disband this one and 880 next to That's good. We'll do that for now, and I'll probably just look at diplomacy quickly. Let's see, Volkai. Yeah, they own all this year. I think they own some land up here as well. Yeah, Massilia. Going to have to watch that. Rome doesn't like us for some reason. Let's see if we can go on. No, they're not interested. It's probably because I'm, I'm allied with. Well, not allied, but I'm quite friendly with Carthage. We share the same bed, so to speak. Okay, so I think we can probably enter in. Our food is very good. I can't believe how much food I have <laughs> in this campaign. Plus 32 surplus food. Uh, yeah, I think that was one of my main problems because when I when I did a Carthage campaign before, uh, a few months back, I was struggling with food. So I think that I made sure that I had plenty of buildings providing food for my my units this time out. And are the Volcai attacking me? They are. Now this is good. I could fight them, but I'm going to actually retreat because of the reinforced army they actually have. If they chase me down, they won't be involved. Yeah, as expected. We can fight now on a more even playing field. 2,600 versus 2,440. We have a lot of slingers. We have ballista. We have to do a tremendous job with those ballistas. I could auto-resolve this, and what does it say? Very high chance of winning. Aggressive stance. Uh, I'm going to fight this myself. So I'll see you all on the battle map. Hello and welcome back. So I have my cavalry hidden on the left flank. I have my ballista up on this hill by here. I'm going to right click the quick reload button. I'm actually going to push forward with my slingers. And I'm also going to push forward with the javelinmen behind in support. It looks like they're going to march everything forward. Where's their general to? Looking for his, their general. He must be on the the left hand, my left flank, their right flank. By the looks of things, it's a bit of a shame. Ballista will be in range soon. That's good. My skirmishers are also going to be in range shortly as well when they get to here. I probably should push forward with everything else. Let's push the main line forward, like so. Trying to get them away from my blister, knock out flanked. Blister will start firing shortly. Here we go. Blister shots off, starting to fly in now. Kill the unit of Gallic warriors. I'm going to move the javelins to the right flank. I'm also going to push up from here. Now would be a good time to utilize this cavalry that I have. I need to start pushing forward with this unit as well. They're going to come forward with everything by the looks of things. I kind of expected this, pull back, charge, pull back, 
all my slingers pull back cavalry is getting obliterated let's get some shots on them over there holy shit frenzy charge swordsman frenzy bring the swordsman to there holy shit right I think we're doing okay just chuck everything in at the moment the frenzy go in we've, we've done well on this flank turn go for there quick reload these two units can have out flank hopefully that cavalry unit will come back oh, got the general just flying in there I'm gonna start throwing things forward now holy shit we are routing many of them in the centre skirmishers get a ballista to aim there frenzy doing pretty well now my cavalry may need to pull out though I'm actually going to pull them out leave us a bit weak there but we can now go for their general their cavalry has come back that's good go for frenzy charge there missile aim for them while we chase us down there my general can now get involved go for a frenzy go for a headhunt what have we got battle rhythm as well and we're going to inspire this unit Go for a charge, not the best of charges on the general, but we got the charge in nonetheless. I'm hoping we can deal some serious damage to him there. This isn't the perfect of battles. These two are just standing there, they need to get involved. Second wind, oh, wrong unit to click on then. That's shit. <laughs> 54 horsemen left. If we can kill the general, then we'll be. Doing fairly well. But at least let's get a couple of ballista shots in, I think. Just try and try and hit the enemy. Oh, it's terrible. I give up. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Salingers. Quick reload. Charge forward, swordsman. Oh my god, they're routing all over the place. Mouse rat mass routes. Mass routes everywhere. Oh man. The general's still alive though. Oh, Ballista Crew, what are you doing? Over there, please. Aim over there. Yeah, they turned the Ballista, that's good. Continue to chase them down, please. Lock these and charge so they pick up their own their own units. Where's my, oh, I lost my cavalry, of course. <laughs> I was about to say, where's my cavalry gone? But I actually lost them. Here we go, we're just going to chase down all the routing units. Quickly go through these, see if there's any special abilities, which I've forgotten about which I have but this battle is pretty much one balance of power suggests that oh my god we get flanked let's try and take out the general at least that'd be good ballista let's see if we can get a shot on the general from over here I think we probably could meow oh we overhit might get that unit there maybe nope maybe not gave them the scare though gave them the big scare here we go. I'm actually going to get the ballista to stop firing. And I'm going to continue this battle briefly. Come on, take up the general. Could have gone a lot better. I'm going to fast forward this as well. Just get a few more kills if we can. They're on horse, so I don't, we don't think we'll actually reach them. But you never know. Bum, bum, bum. Three remaining. I won't catch them. Okay, we'll end the battle there. So, close victory. Not as straightforward as I would have hoped, but we lost half the amount that my enemy lost with similar sized forces. We still got all my ballista as well. Bit careless with the cavalry. Infantry did pretty well. General had quite a lot of kills as well. Close victory. We're going to kill the captives. They don't like the Volkai. And we should be able to take a loader now. I should think. What are the Voltai doing? Moving some ships around. The treacherous bastards. And our turn again. So, let's just see what we can do. Let's bring my navy a little bit closer to the action. Let's get them towards Sisis. That's the aim there. Let's go down south to my army over here. We're just going to continue to march forward over the mountains and far away to 
towards Palantir. I have my armies around here, so what we want to do here is ready for battle. Ready for battle. Let's bring this army to here. I'm probably going to keep put them cavalry units in this army like so and then this army can move those two to there so he's a cavalry commander now Thunderbutts of row plenty of ballista and infantry warriors all got a little bit of money to spend as well which is nice now I need to th think about taking uh, Elurda with this army we're still full stack although we are a little bit bloodied don't think we've quite got the movement points to take a Lurda. It might be beneficial to take out this army first. Let's go for this army. There we go, we've pushed them away. I could chase them down. I go for a Lurda. If they come if they turn up then we can just think I can actually attack with the cavalry here. I'm gonna attack with the cavalry at Lurda. They should be in reinforcement range. Yes they are. I think this is most probably an auto-resolve, guys, so I'm going to auto-resolve this, I think. Let's see. Yes, we can get 90% uh, in our favour. How many did we lose? That's the important thing. 188. That's, I can live with that, that's fine. And my general's levelled up, of course. Still got my ballista, that's good. Occupy. So, increase in rank for Divitatius. I think that's his name. Let's just um, increase that then. So boom, boom, boom. we can go for cultural conversion plus siege hold up time. We can go for cunning map movement. I like that one, and it gives me de melee defense for all units. We're going to go for that. That would be nice. This guy didn't level up either. Alerta is a little bit pissed off with us at the moment, but that should should correct itself next turn because it's minus twenty five for next turn only. So that's okay. I think thirsty for battle. battle. I need to take out Emporii, so it's probably going to be good if the Reach of Candamius actually recruits a few more units. We don't have any cavalry, because my cavalry command has gone over there. I need... let's see... don't have any missile troops either. I have plenty of ballista though, so that covers me for that. Ooh, what to get? Iberian Spearman versus Gutari Spearman, I think. It's Gutari Spearman on the best. Uh, we go for them. And the unit of cavalry to be safe. That's going to be recruited next turn if we don't get interrupted. And again, I can probably disband another one of them to make sure I get a bit more money uh, next turn. I could probably. I can recruit the Iberian Spear unit to replace that unit anyway, so that will be okay for now. This army is going to be in a, a pest, I think, for me. Champions of Amarica. I'm going to go into diplomacy as well for a second because. I'm curious whether I can actually get these to join a confederation. Nope. If I offer them any sort of money at all. I can't offer them anything. That's a shame. How about an alliance or access or something? Ooh, let's see. Access, trade agreement. Trade? No, they don't want anything to do with me. And, ooh, crap, wrong button. The Volkai are barbarian. They're not Iberian like me. We've, we've whittled them down nicely, though. If they attack me, they can't attack over the mountains, so if they do attack, it's going to come from Emporii. That's why it's important I get as much as I can over there. This army can probably move out from Numantia now. Numantia's not going to be out. Oh, I've trespassed. Oh well. <laughs> what I was going to say was this army being in Numantia is not going to help me at all. So we're going to move them. Ooh, we could go to Alerta with this army, but no, we're going to go to Cesis. I just hope that this big army doesn't attack me there. Salduba's got a decent garrison of 10 and they've most, mostly replenished, which is good. Okay, I'm quite happy with how things are going. I'm just going to have a quick look at the tactical map. Or strategic map, however you want to call it. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do Masil, Masili, Carthage. You need to take this eventually, but I'll get to that when I need to. For now, we're going to push north into Gaul itself. We're going to Gallia Transalpina. And take out the Volcai, and then we'll come back on ourselves and take out Aquitania and the Vasconis tribe. I think I can probably end turn. Fingers crossed, nothing goes bad in this end turn phase. And yeah, this is part 25. I think that probably 
by part maybe 35 to 40 this campaign would probably be over oh they've declared war on me you bastards the Vascones you horrible bastards looks like I'm gonna have to take out the Vascones sooner than I thought oh, and spies what's the fuck I doing are they gonna attack me this turn or not I do not think they are Libya subversion you bastards okay so what to do that army has moved we're gonna go back to Salduba because we're gonna bi build up another army to try and take Aruna and deal with the Vascones so what do we need? We need cavalry two units of cavalry actually no we need Scutari spearmen and unit of cavalry as well it's going to take me a few turns to build up a decent force, then we'll go to Aruna with them. We've got a unit of Ballista as well to help us out. This army is... I wonder if they can... Yeah, they can't actually go over there. They, their main stack has moved. They've, I'm assuming they've moved into Aruna. But I'm not quite sure. Let's go and double check my forces. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, no spies. Need a spy really, but... What are you going to do? Emporia is a walled city. Looks like it's a walled city. Can we get there this turn? No, we can't. I'm gonna take our time with this army. We just go to about there. I think that would be sensible. We should be able to go into a, a fortified stance, which will help us out there. This army is building up some units. We're gonna now disband another unit of slingers to give me a bit more. I will we'll disband both of them. May as well. We have no mercenaries anymore now. I can't afford nothing else this turn. We're going to get a unit of spearmen there. Plus, we got our garrison, which should be, uh, we should suffice, I should say. And we have a, let's see, cavalry here, more or less full strength. They can probably sit there while this army, with the ballista, can probably move. So I don't want to leave Alurna, Alurna undefended. The problem I have is if they come from like Portus Ammonen. Although I do have a second army on the way. Where are they gone? Boop, boop, boop. There they are. This army is now going to go north, I think, to Palantia. It will get there in two turns time, in force march. It's full strength, 20 stack, 20 unit stack. They can take Portus Ammonen and then probably Aruna. They'll meet up with what I'm building here and take Aruna. So yeah I think I'm okay with, with dealing with them then we can probably go and take out the final province unless they join a confederation with us before then I want to take Tolosa that looks like it's the capital but that's not the the walled city this is the walled city here but this army the reach of Candamias is going to take out Emporia I think and I'm just going to double check everything else so I don't know whether to move these I could probably take out Runa with this army I don't know what Aruna has. You see the, the dilemma I have? I could use this one to take out Emporiae, go up to Tolosa and then back round, maybe. However, these guys need to be taken out sooner rather than later, otherwise they're just going to be pestering me and trying to take villages and towns off me, so... Uh, 18 out of 20 men. I'm going to go to Salduba with this army. And I'm going to take the final unit of Ballista with me. And then we're going to move into their land. Straight for Aruna with this army here. Hopefully nothing. I don't think they can come and attack me. If they are, uh, if, if the Valkai retreated from here to there, I can take them out on the way with this army. If not, then I don't know where they'd come from. Well, they might be hidden. They might be hidden for all I know. But we'll find out in the next part. So I hope you all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.